Hi everybody, Mr. Gibson here. Obviously I'm not in today. Uh, today's absence, Monday, was not scheduled. Uh, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, Tuesday's absence is scheduled. I'm supposed to be at the district office with uh, some of the other fabulous teachers here at Snow Valley High uh, working on some stuff for Common Core. So basically the sub plan that the Monday group is going to get is the same one the Tuesday group is going to get. Um, I want to start out with just a couple of announcements. Uh, uh, first, before we get into the meat of the lesson, uh, first announcement number one is uh, chapter 17 notes are due after Thanksgiving break. They were scheduled to be due this Thursday and Friday, but I have decided to push that back until after we return from the break. So if you already had them done, that's great. You're ahead of the game. Uh, and for those of you that need to catch up, well, now's your time to catch up. Also, there was a Schoology prompt uh, that was supposed to be posted uh, and uh, we're going to push that back until after Thanksgiving break, primarily because it has to do with the content of Chapter 17, uh, which we're going to introduce uh, when I come back uh, to class on Wednesday of this week, where we're going to do a little introductory lecture on what you guys are going to read on Chapter 17 in the week or so ahead. Uh, but please remember, you know, the uh, there is no homework over Thanksgiving break. This is entirely optional. Um, Chapter 17 notes will be due on the Thursday and Friday we return from break. Uh, so please use your Thanksgiving break as I intended. You guys need a rest. You guys have had uh, a lot of work this semester and you've done well. And a week off I think could do all of us a lot of good. Um, next, uh, a reminder. Uh, Thursday and Friday uh, we're going to hold a Socratic seminar discussion on the election of 2016. So please bring your opinions. I'll be providing one article that will kind of ground our discussion, and then we'll kind of branch it out into some other areas regarding the election that just happened last week. So like I said, I will be here on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, so that should be um, that should be a really interesting discussion. I'd love. I'm looking forward to having that with you guys. Uh, and then lastly, uh, if any of you need to make up the Unit Two test, um, unfortunately, really the only days to do that are Thursday and Friday of this week. Wednesday's tough because I have meetings in the afternoon. So if you fall into that category where you need to make up the Unit 2 test, please come talk to me on Wednesday. You can email me too if you'd like to. That's, that's no problem. Um, so those are just the announcements for the day. In terms of what you're doing in class today, it's pretty simple. We're just It's the continuation of something that we started last week, at the beginning of the week, during our conversation on Reconstruction. So what you're going to need to do during this period is basically, and some of you have already gotten a head start on this, is uh, the reconstruction document set which all of you received uh, in paper. Uh, our substitute teacher has extras of these if you still need it in paper. However, I've also included a copy of the set on our Google Classroom assignment here and you'll see that it's got all the documents that everybody has in paper. Everybody can view these, okay? And really, task number one with your groups of three that you formed last, uh, I believe it was Monday and Tuesday, um, you need to make sure uh, you need to make sure that you guys go through and annotate and read these documents. You're welcome to cap them; it's not a requirement, uh, but it'll certainly help you um, analyze these documents to do the major task of the day. So again, in your groups of three that you formed, uh, like I said last week. Um, you know, I'd like you to tackle that together. Now, the individual part uh, of the assignment is here, where it says Reconstruction, Research, and Record Questions. This is a practice for the uh, Common Core Assessment that we're going to be doing uh, later um, in uh, April of this upcoming year. And it's kind of an intro to the interim performance task that we're going to be doing in February in my class on the 1920s. So this is the task you have. So once you've gone through those eight documents, you're going to click on the document that's titled Reconstruction, Research, and Record. And it gives you the instructions here. This is actually on the front of the document set. and We've already read this as a class. Um, but the basic idea is this, is that you want to answer individually uh, these three questions in paragraph form. Uh, you're going to be citing the documents. You're certainly going to be pulling quotes from each of the documents, too, to provide evidence. But I want you to treat these three questions almost as if they were mini long essays. Okay. Uh, now, 95 minutes should be more than enough time to get you guys through this. Uh, again, you're looking at about a paragraph for each response. That's three paragraphs 
totally doable. Uh, if anybody needs to finish uh, this evening, that's fine. I don't mind if people on either Monday night or Tuesday night need to kind of wrap it up uh, on their own. That's fine. But Thursday, when I or excuse me, Wednesday when I come back, it should be completed. So that's the primary task that you have uh, today is to get through the Google Classroom assignment on the era of reconstruction. Um, again, it's posted right here, okay, along with the document set in case you'd like the electronic copy. Um, lastly, if there's anything else that pops up, uh, please don't hesitate to email me. You guys know my email address. Um, and that should basically uh, wrap up the lesson for the day uh, in terms of what you guys need to do. And again, please work together. This is definitely a collaborative assignment, at least until you get to the research and record question uh, assignment where I'd like those responses to be individual. Thanks so much to our substitute teacher for coming in. And uh, like I said, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great day, and may the force be with you all.